Hey everyone, Andy here again, and now I'm going to show you how to uh, mount a drive to the uh, PC4 in order to download content off the SR memory card. Uh, we, and we've already done in the previous step, uh, worked out how to connect to the PC4 to control it, and now I'm going to go ahead to the computer here and show you how to connect a drive uh, through a network file share, an NFS, on my Mac here. So, um, what I have on Mac here, I'll go ahead and start the uh, recording program. Here we go. Here we go. So I have my uh, PC4 set up here, my clips, etc. Uh, go to disk setup, and you'll see I have a couple of options here. I'll zoom in, and I have NFS, NFS2, CIFS, and dev. We're going to use NFS version 3 uh, for a network file share, and then later we'll use dev for uh, eSATA. Uh, NFS version 3 we have set up here. And by the way, I, it already has this IP address in here, uh, which I, because it just remembered, it cached that, uh, which is my store directory. But if I hit, hit mount now, it's going to say failed. And that's because uh, it's not, turnly, not currently turned on. I don't have my network file share set up right now. I disabled it for this uh, demo. So how I get NFS, uh, an NFS share on a Mac is through a program that's free off the internet called NFS Manager. Uh, feel free to donate money and, and to them and to uh, keep it going, of course. Uh, come open this program up. Again, it's free off the internet. Go to share definitions here, and I can add a new share. This is going to allow me to map a folder or a, 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 a folder to share on the network here. But it defaults to this user folder. I want to change that to be uh, my media store uh, SR download folder that I made earlier. There it is. Turn off the, turn off the share, read only. Turn on allow clients to mount, and then I'm going to use, use a customized mapping here and the user mappings, and then go to my advanced options and map the root account to different identity as specified below. I want to specify my own identity, which is the, an admin level access, uh, is Andrew. There it is. Select that and close that out. Uh, so all I've done really to explain is I've customized the map and set me, my name, as the uh, root account there to give myself full access because I have full access to this computer already. Uh, and then otherwise, I let the settings basically alone. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. It's going to complain, say I'm running there. And it should. It may ask for your password, but you should be able to be good now. Come back over to this guy. Now that I have it mounted and everything's working, I should be able to type in my IP address, which I know is 192.168.0.2, uh, and then type in the uh, the, the shared volume. Now, it sort of remember that for me, so I'm going to go ahead and just let it do it, but uh, volumes, media store, SR downloads, that's what I want, that's what I mounted, mount that, and there we go. So, this is an external hard drive mounted, and right now you can see I have nothing in here, but I could make a directory like, down, you know, card one, day one, make a directory, and there it is, card one, day one. So, I can go in that folder if I want to, and that's going to be my new location where I store data. So, this is mounted on my network, Tells me a total of 1.8 terabytes, 70% uh, used, 50 gigs free. So just a little bit of space left in this drive. Okay, no big deal. Um, now, by the way, this is an HFS formatted drive. It's a Mac formatted hard drive. Um, it, not all Mac formatted drives will work with this directly, uh, but through the uh, directly as an eSATA connected, but through the NFS share, it should be able to connect anything directly to it. So any any format. So okay, that's shared up. Now I want to go to my import window here. Import. And I can select the clips I want to bring in. I'm just going to bring in just one clip, this one here. That looks good. Nice sunset. Uh, and then I'll say add to the queue. And I'll say, and it tells me, okay, I'm going to have I'm going to have time code in there and the metadata, and I'm going to have 16 channels of audio. If I didn't want that, I could say, you know what? I don't really need all 16 channels of audio. I only need four. Go back to my menu control now, uh, and I could go ahead and, and actually uh, clear this list and I read add it in. Say okay, four channels of audio is all I really need. So it actually is up modifying the file slightly there. Okay, great. Uh, start the queue. Start. And what this will do? Uh, it's busy. Okay, it's good. It's working. Is my hard drive spinning up now? It's actually transferring that data right across. Now this is just a, uh, a fairly short clip, minute and twenty-eight seconds ish, uh, and it, it it will over this Ethernet download in about real time. Uh, so not super fast over Ethernet. Uh, we've got to be faster access via eSATA directly. So this is one way to do it. Files are being transferred off uh, and into my, my hard drive. If I get, go look at my hard drive while this is happening, you'll see uh, this, this file 00021 is being made. Uh, and there's my folder that I made earlier. Uh, but it's being put right into there. There's my file. And by the way, I have uh, a, uh, the SR 
uh, viewer installed the uh, the plugin for Apple uh, also f that to make allows me to play back this content so that's why I can see a thumbnail working already of that file and it's file number 21 there it is moving through so I'm gonna let this finish and then we'll go do it again uh, with an eSATA drive directly attached so uh, one second for that okay so now I'm gonna mount a hard drive directly to the PC4 over eSATA. So I have that eSATA card in the PCI Express slot there, and I have an eSATA drive here, uh, and here's my uh, eSATA cable. Uh, I'm going to plug it right into the back of the PC4, uh, like so. Put that in there. Uh, and then I'm going to go over to my computer and mount that up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start up the recording again. Record. Okay, so now I'm back in my, uh, my desk setup menu here. You can see I have uh, NFS set. Now I want to mount a drive directly. I'm going to go click on Dev. Uh, and then as soon as I do that, it sees this ATA external RAID here. You see that? Uh, and then it has this connection. So it knows that my drive is formatted in HFS, but it's connecting to it. So the HFS this is a Mac formatting. Not all HFS drives will connect to it. The journal drives don't work. So you can make sure it's not a journaled Mac drive. NTFS work fine, FAT32. Uh, it will, but it only has you know, certain file sizes it can fit. So either you want to be NTFS or HFS non-journaled. Anyway, there it is. I can mount to it just like that. And then you'll see on my drive I have my SR downloads folder. This is the same drive I, I used earlier. Uh, and you can see I have the card one day one that I made earlier as well. Great. So I'm in there. That looks good. Go back to my import window. And I'll bring in that same clip again. Let's see, find it there, that sunset clip. This one right here, I think. Nope. This one here. 12. Isn't it? Uh, 21. That's what it was. 21. There it is. Select that clip. Add it to my queue. And go ahead and start the transfer. There we go. So uh, you'll see it considerably faster transfer time compared to before, which took about a minute before. And now it's going to be about 30 seconds or less to transfer that same clip. So uh, faster than real time transfer. Uh, right off directly onto my hard drive. Now, the difference here really is that uh, before I was able to just interact with my content as it was being brought in, whereas here I'm directly connected to the PC4. It means fast download time, but I have to then, if I wanted to move it somewhere else, I'd have to disconnect it from the PC4 and put it onto my computer, connect to my computer, and go from there. So, an extra step for sure, but a faster download time. So, this is just one of the first of many uh, downloading possibilities with the PC4. With that card slot in there, a lot of options can be installed. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. Now, I showed you SR co codec, but F65 works the same way. It's the same kind of stuff. The difference really is in the file format. One's bigger, obviously. F65 raw content is bigger. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the download process is the same. The playback's the same. Everything's the same. So we learn one, we learn them both. Uh, so uh, that's it for this particular video. Uh, I will follow up with a little bit of uh, actually working with the files. Uh, on the computer side, both F65 RAW and, uh, and the uh, SR codec. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, stay, in for t t stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching.